Enter. That's kind of the view that you get. So the front door is just here, and as you walk in straight to your left, we have kind of like a I call it like a welcome cupboard because it has the racks for where you can store your jackets and coats and things like that. And there's shelving at the top, which is so good. I was really thinking about what to put up there and I really think that linen will go up there because we don't have that much linen, so that will fit perfectly. And then we just have these uh, drawers, which are super handy. I think shoes might go in here, but I'm not sure yet. They're just so handy to have. My last place literally didn't have any storage at all. So this cupboard being the first thing that you get when you walk in is just amazing. Like, I was really excited about this cupboard. Anyways, so still at the front door and then to your right is our kitchen, which I love. So one of the features that we were looking for when we were searching for a place was to have a bigger kitchen. Um, my old place had just the kitchen on like along the wall, like one of those apartment, um, small apartment kitchens. And I was really, really wanting a, an island bench, which is hard to come by. But these set of apartments just mostly had a lot of island benches. And so I was like sold on this building and I just had to find the perfect floor plan. So this kitchen is probably where I'm going to spend most of my time and actually I never used to cook that much prior to this pandemic and I'm sure everybody else feels the same and suddenly we're all master chefs and I just needed a bigger kitchen to do all my baking and stuff like that this was the dishwasher and then we just have all our normal drawers and cupboards and oh there's a bin I didn't even know there was a bin here um bins and so much storage I just love storage so much and then we have our usual drawers and they're nice and deep which i really like um and then we just have more cupboards like there is ample storage we do not even have stuff to fill all this up so that is also really exciting but it also is sort of like inviting to just buy more stuff which i have to kind of not do yeah, so that's the kitchen main area like our stove and more storage and then at the up the top there's also more storage which is great oh i'm really excited about storage i don't know why is that does that mean like you're growing up <laughs> so as you walk through the kitchen there is the pantry section, which is really handy. It's like in its own little nook, which I like because it's hidden away from the main area of the house and it's just not like obstructing your view and you can just kind of go into like a little separate area. So on the left, we have a fridge cupboard. I don't know why I'm, like my fridge would need a cupboard, but it's really handy because it kind of just hides the fridge away and then the door just ties in with ties in with the rest of the house which is nice and then we have like one of those pull out thingies never had one of these before so I'm not sure 
how to use it in the sense of you know what I would put there because we have like another full pantry on the right but I'm sure I will find something to do with it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. If you have one of these in your place and you have some great organization ideas, let me know. And then on this side, we have another massive pantry. Just like six shelving. Super like spacious. Honestly, we just don't have stuff for all of this. But I'm excited. Like I said before, I've been watching so many YouTube videos on organizing pantry storage and things like that. So I've actually bought a whole bunch of containers and things to organize it. So if you guys want to see a pantry storage slash organization video, maybe you should subscribe because I'm going to do it anyway. So that is the kitchen facing with my back to the window which is just so pretty I love it so much okay so after the kitchen so we're back at the front door and then when you turn left we have our first main bathroom and then going into here we have our laundry and sorry again we actually like I said don't have lighting I don't know why the electricity is not on but I will figure that out um, so we're gonna have our laundry washer in here hopefully it's not gonna take up the entire space because I want to be able to put some shelving just to store our detergents and mops and things like that and then we have the guest bathroom pretty standard toilet mirror and then there's like more storage here which is good I've never had one of these before so I'm really excited to put all my creams and face washes and things like that in there and then shower which is stock standard love the shower head and it's quite a massive shower and also that bench kind of extends into the shower so that's pretty handy and then moving out of the bathroom we have the living area so I'm thinking of getting some stools just for the bench I think maybe three stools and our couch will go here and the TV will go here this is the study nook that I was talking about before so so that's just my light ring so this is the study nook that came with the apartment and it's honestly it kind of looks small in the video and it actually is that small it's so narrow and very very short so I feel like it's probably not gonna be uh, that convenient for us or that is not something that we can really use as a long-term work desk it will probably end up becoming honestly just somewhere where we throw things on to be honest but let's see hopefully we can make some good use of it out of it so just standing by the window looking back that is the whole space of the living area slash kitchen slash study nook and then turning left here we have our first bedroom which is quite a decent sized room for a city apartment I feel like we did so many inspections and they just you know second rooms were just not always that big but yeah so this is the closet we've got some doors sliding doors I really wish they were mirrored doors though but that's okay and shelving I feel like again I have so much stuff in terms of closet of needing closet space I don't think this will be enough but I really love how this is built in so excited for that I feel like all my active wear alone will just fit in here and then that's about it to be honest but yeah so this is really nice I just think it's so pretty this room and the doors to the bedrooms are sliding which I like I don't know I just find it different and then moving on, we go to the other side of the apartment and then we come to the master bedroom, which again is quite spacious for an apartment in the city, I find. And then we walk through, we've got two sets of closets, so I guess you can think of it as a his and hers. And they're pretty much identical to the other room as well, slightly smaller, but that's okay. 
and then we go into the master ensuite which is huge for two people so we've got toilet a shower and a really long bench with more storage i don't know why these benches are so long but they are so i really love all the storage in the bathroom they just really have all their storage thought out really well i feel maybe because i compare it to the current place that we're in now and storage is just not a thing over there so yeah and i just love like all these little detailing i'm gonna put candles and the sink i just love that and then again we've got the mirrored cupboards which is super handy and then we come out of the master bedroom so i'm gonna address these these are sun shields they are in every single apartment in this building and depending on what floor plan you get i find that they're either useful or they're not useful and there were some floor plans that the whole that having those sun shields was just really pointless because they weren't facing a nice view or they were just like in a bedroom that was already small and it just took up more space and it just was like really really pointless in those apartments but this apartment because of the view and the way that they built these sunshades in it goes across the entire floor onto the other side which is handy and it doesn't block off the space in a way that it's it becomes dead space if that makes sense so what you do is you can pull them on their railing and it's not exactly quiet but that's kind of just what it looks like if i was to pull it all the way across so you still get like some sunlight into the room but like not that much if you just want a little bit of privacy yeah i don't know i still don't know how i feel about it entirely because i just i'm not used to it i feel like i need some time with it to know how i really feel but i don't hate it so i mean it wasn't a deal breaker obviously and if you don't want to pull that across all the time we did get blinds installed so before we moved in um, there was actually no blinds and we asked for blinds to be installed because that way we can just kind of block off some windows if we really really wanted to but yeah so that is the space oh and the view the view is so pretty the view is honestly what sold me it's just so pretty i am such a city girl at heart and just having this view gives me life i will be you know i i do not mind getting locked down while staying here and having this every day to see but yeah so that is it so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the empty apartment tour um, like i said i'm really looking forward to furnishing it and doing the kitchen organization and storage and things like that. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because I'm honestly uh, relying off Pinterest and YouTube videos and other people's videos. And yeah, just I'm so excited. Also, again, sorry that there was just no lighting um, in the in the bathrooms and in the pantry. I don't know what is going on. I'll probably have to call the electricity company after this. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first video on this channel and I look forward to creating more.